Hello, and, and welcome to our second uh, training session on the map view. And today what we're going to cover is basically the control panel and how to use that on our main map view. So if you remember how to select, um, you can just select whichever vehicles you want to, to display in your map and pull it open. And I'm just going to expand it so it's got a bigger map here. And what we've got then is here is all our vehicles displayed on our map. We've covered, you know, our operations and our buttons and map views in the previous one. So today we're going to go over the control panel over here. So we have the ability to actually close down the control panel just by clicking on these little arrows so that all you get is your entire map to display or when you want to reopen them, you just click again on these arrows beside it, and it shows over here. So you can click Show All, and it opens up all the tabs to show you everything that you've got. Hide All just tucks them all back up, and if you want to just show one, then you just click on it to make it available as well. So I'll just open them up as we go through here, and I'll just let you know what you can do with each of these. So. Under the show, we have the ability to show an item location or show the stops for today. So if, for example, I had only chosen some of the vehicles to display on the map, and I now wanted to show all of them, or I've got everybody and I just want to show um, my ones in DC, it allows me to change who's being viewed on my map. So if I just say, oh, I just want to show my DC items. can select them all or randomly select, click on show selected, and it's going to change my map view then to just the ones that I've selected. If I want to go back and view them all again, I would just simply show by item location. Again, when these items show on our map, they're based on the last event type. So this last event was a locate. This last event was an ignition off. So this was a stop. So in order to do an actual locate, you would have to do click on this Get Current Location, and it would do a live locate of these vehicles. And again, you can choose all of them or just some of them. And we would now update locations and that will just give you, it'll try for up to two minutes, and then plot them on the map here to show us. So you can see, it can take up to two minutes. So I'm just going to close that, but you get the idea that would show them all on the map. I'll go back, select all my vehicles. And it's going to plot everybody on the map again. Stops for today allows me to show the stops for any number again of my vehicles. And so if I wanted to show all the stops, I'll just pull one vehicle and show you how it works. We show stops. So what it's going to do is all the stops that my install two vehicle have done are going to show on the map. So you can see them here, all these circles. So if I declutter them, then if there's more than one, like here, there's the two, they'll show up and spread apart. I can tell based on the same color coding as we have for the rest of the portal in total. <coughs> Pardon me, the blue is your start of day. A green stop is less than 15 minutes. A yellow stop is 15 minutes to an hour, and an orange stop is over an hour. So this is actually great because we have one of each. So simply by clicking on the little circle, it tells me start of day was at 7.40 a.m. And so that's actually movement of the vehicle, not ignition. We can see here that the vehicle was stopped at the Coquitlam yard. And it was stopped for 25 minutes. So you can get all that information. You can pull up more than one vehicle as well. And it, you can see it tells you which vehicle. So you can pull up the stops for a couple of different vehicles and compare them. 
and those kind of things right here on your map. Again, to go back and just sh show your vehicles again, you would show by item location or by getting a current location and then update your map. Show nearest item. So what that allows us to do is take an address or a landmark and find out which of my vehicles are the closest to that area. So for example, if you had um, an emergency call out that somebody needed to go to an address and look after it, uh, you would be able to find out which of your vehicles was the closest and then go from there. So if I just choose any um, of my landmarks because I clicked on, you know, show closest to a landmark, I can define the show ten up to 10 items within 10 kilometers, 15, my maximum distance. So I have the ability to change it then. And I just click show nearest. What that's going to do is put a little icon on my map and show me where the landmark is that I selected. Or if you pull it by address, all you would do is enter an address. So it would do the same thing. Show the icon for where the vehicle is. Which is right here. Bobcat Country, and show me all the vehicles that are within 10 kilometers. So I can see here quickly that Install 2 is the only one that is within there. And I can tell he's actually on the move, and those kind of details, so I could say, yeah, perfect, I'm going to contact it and do either dispatch to this vehicle or contact my driver and have them get to that right away because it's an emergency. So same thing if you're doing an address, you just simply enter the address instead of a landmark where you've already entered a name for that address. Um, get directions, quick way for you to be able to get directions for a specific um, trip that needs to be made, for an example. It gives you the opportunity to choose from where one of your vehicles is or from a landmark or address. So I can choose, I want to find out from where the training vehicle is and how to get to, I could enter an address or how to get to a specific landmark. So I could choose here um, one of my landmarks. So here we go, we're going to say get directions, it's just going to give quick directions in my quest. And then I can call my driver and say, this is the way you need to go, or this is where you need to get to, or, you know, whatever you need to do. When you're driving yourself, you want to get quick directions. It's just a really quick and simple way. So I'll close that down. So that's your get directions. The other thing that you can do here is show selected landmarks. So I have the ability to display any of the landmarks that I've created on my map. So if I want all my Tim Hortons in Abbotsford, I can show them. And there they are. So all these little buildings are the Tim Hortons in Abbotsford that we've entered as landmarks. So it, gives the landmark name and it gives the address and we've ever entered phone numbers. So that uh, if we needed to call ahead. Okay, so that's the way you show selected landmarks. As you'll see in dispatch when we're on the driver option um, or if you have dispatched a vehicle, if you're on here, you would be able to dispatch right from the landmarks you put up on your map, and that's explained more fully somewhere else. When I unclick it, the box, I have to, it just toggles off, and it tells me it's going to remove my landmarks from the screen. My breadcrumb tails, what this does, it allows me to show the path of the vehicle from the time I turn it on and then follows that vehicle and plots it on the map. So every minute that this refreshes, 
It will show where the vehicle is now, which direction they're heading on the road. You can see by clicking on it, we get this information here. But as it travels down and the map refreshes, it will actually start to leave like a, a line and arrow directions to update it from there. So that's um, pretty much the entire control panel. But as I said before, we do have the opportunity when you do have the dispatch feature to switch over and choose to view our map by drivers instead of by our items, which are our vehicles. And to switch back to items, we would just simply click there again, choose again which vehicles, and update our map. Because when you do switch back and forth, it does wipe everything out. So that gives you an initial overview of your control panel and what it can do for you. So, um, you know, feel free to give us a call at the office if you need anything clarified or you need any other information. And Shannon and I would be happy to help you. Again, my name is Barb, and thanks for joining us for our training videos. Bye-bye.